yeah, I'm waiting for my sandwich. I also have a baguette, a freshly made baguette with cheese, ham, and salad cream. Lovely. Gonna get my teeth into that. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, what's this? A pedal. Do you want me to review the pedal? Okay, so when I've done the review of the pedal, um, I can have my sandwich. Okay, this is going to be the fastest review I've ever done. All right, all right. I'll do it properly. Hello, Cave Dwellers. Welcome back. Today I'm going to review the Boss OD2 Turbo Overdrive, which came out in the mid-1980s. In 1988 to 1994, they moved production from Japan to Taiwan, but it doesn't make it a lesser product. In 1994, they stopped making it completely, but you can still get it on the used market from above £50. As you can see, it's got a level tone and drive control with an extra switch for more gain. It's called the Turbo Switch. This particular model was made in Taiwan and it was bought in London in 1990. Let's plug it in. So I've got the Kelly going through the pedal into the Micro Cube GX made by Roland. Not everyone's got a half stack valve amp in their room. So if it sounds good through this, it'll sound good through anything. So I'm going to use the clean tone from the Marola Micro Cube GX. So you can hear the difference when I kick in the distortion from the OD2. Here's the clean sound. <laughs> So I'm going to use all the uh, controls at 12 o'clock and here is the pedal being kicked in now. And of course that's just uh, 12 o'clock. If I increase the drive, I like to put it on full. Just the tone, you can have it a lot of top, very toppy. And I'll increase the level to make it a little bit louder. Okay, let's turn the tone back. Let's put it at 10 o'clock to have some more beef to it. So you know the difference. So I'll back the drive off. So just have it on minimum. Slowly turn it up. If I chuck on the A, maximum again, and I'll play with the tone. Okay, so now I'm going to kick in the uh, turbo switch. So you can see uh, on the picture it's on the off position. So I'm going to put it onto the on position. You hear the difference when I'm chucking on the E, what difference it makes. So I'm going to now play um, with a slight crunch on the 
Roland Cube GX. That's the micro cube. And uh, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Kick in the uh, overdrive. And I'm going to turn the level up on the overdrive. Have it up max. And let's back the tone off a little bit. some more drive and let's kick in the turbo switch the turbo switch again and I'll keep chugging so you can hear the difference when it comes in. I'm going to chug on the oh, I've got to chug on the E string as you can hear it does actually make a lot of difference so here's a riff with it all where I would have it. again and here's a kick in what do I think of this pedal well I'm surprised by its beautiful tone it's got a like a velvety kind of a tone it's smooth and it's you can use it from blues to 80s metal. This is not a palm muted bottom end monster. This aims at another goal. This is warm, smooth and classic. So if you're in the market for an overdrive pedal, consider this, especially because you can pick them up now from 50 pounds. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because you don't know what I'm gonna do next. Cheers.